Hi, I'm Karan Krishnan. I'm a research microbiologist with a specific focus on digestive health. You know, digestive disorders can take on a number of different symptomologies. You could have really common things like gas and bloating, loose stool, indigestion. You might even have like whole categories of foods that you can't eat anymore. Or there are things that are seemingly unrelated to the digestive system. Things like mood issues and weight issues and sleep issues and energy issues, even skin issues. Even though those things are seemingly unrelated, they can actually stem from a dysfunctional gut. Now you also know that there's lots of different things out there to try to help and improve the digestive system and your, and your gut health in general. And you've probably tried a lot of them in the past without any success. So I'm here to talk to you about why you may not have had success with the things you've tried in the past. And that's because of something called toxic load. And it's toxic load in your digestive tract. Let me explain that. So when you think about your digestive system, to you, it looks like it's inside your body, right? Because it's inside here, you can't see it. Well, in fact, the digestive system is still considered outside of the body because it's a tube open on both ends. The true barrier that separates the inside and the outside of the body is the lining of the digestive tract. The intestinal cells called the intestinal epithelium, the mucus layer that's on top of the intestinal epithelium, and then of course all of the microbes that live in that mucus layer that's called your microbiome. That area is the true separation between the inside and the outside of the body. And that area is large in surface area. Now your digestive tract is 28 or so feet. So Every foot of that is covered with this lining. And then if you were to open that up, you would have the surface area of about a professional tennis court. So you've got this massive surface area lined with these intestinal epithelial cells with that mucosa and all of the microbes that make up your microbiome. And everything virtually that enters your body, for the most part, enters through your digestive tract. We could say at least 99% of the things that enter your system daily enter through the digestive tract, whether it's through the things you eat, the liquids you drink, the pen you had in your mouth for a couple hours earlier that had viruses and bacteria on it or toxins on it that then went into your digestive system, whether things enter in through your eyes, your ears, your nose, all of these systems drain into your throat and down your digestive tract. So your system is designed for, for your digestive system to sample the world around you. And because it's doing that, and also because we live in a highly toxic world, your digestive system is inundated with things that trigger inflammatory responses and trigger a toxic burden in its system itself. Now, what that does is that prevents the ability of the digestive tract to heal itself. You know, the digestive system is phenomenal. It's wonderful. In fact, the whole lining of the digestive tract can turn over itself within about 72 hours if everything was just perfectly well aligned. And so the digestive system is perfectly aligned to be able to heal itself. However, because of that continuous toxic burden, because we're constantly putting things into our digestive tract and most of the things we put in carry some degree of toxic burden with it, then we, we negate the healing that can happen within the digestive tract. Let me give you an example of that or, or an analogy really so you can better understand it. Imagine you had a cut on your hand, right? If you took care of it and you left it alone for a couple of days, the cut would seal right up. Now, if you had a cut in your hand and you were rubbing it against something abrasive every day and irritating it, that cut would never heal. And in fact, for over time, it would get worse. And that's kind of what happens in your digestive tract. When you have damage in your digestive tract that is leading to these digestive disorders and symptomologies, because of the daily toxic load of all the things we put into there, it becomes really hard for your digestive system to repair itself and improve and get better. So I want to talk to you about a nutrient that can help with the toxic burden within your digestive tract. And it's these amazing compounds called immunoglobulins, in particular IgG. Now you may have heard of immunoglobulins before because we've been talking about immune system a lot in, in the media, online, and so on. And one of the big defense mechanisms that your immune system has is the production of immunoglobulins. So your own immune system does produce immunoglobulins in your circulation, especially IgG. The reason your immune system produces them is because these immunoglobulins are highly specific to target things that could cause toxicity and inflammation in the body. So your immune system produces them, your B cells in particular produce them, they circulate around your, your system anytime they encounter something that could be potentially 
potentially toxigenic or harmful, they'll bind them, neutralize them, and get them out of the body, right? So they work quite amazingly that way. Now, the animals in our environment also make immunoglobulins, and in particular, the cows that we tend to eat, right? So these cows are out there in the pasture. They're coming across all kinds of microbes, all kinds of viruses. They're coming across mold. They're coming across environmental toxins, chemicals, all of these things that are out there. And the cow's immune system is constantly making immunoglobulins against all of these things in the environment that can be toxigenic to the cow. Now, the cow tends to have this really rich plethora of immunoglobulins in its serum. Now we have the ability to go into the cow's serum, remove the immunoglobulins, concentrate them highly, and then take it as a dietary supplement. What does that do for us then? Because this concentration of immunoglobulins basically acts as highly specific drones to seek out things that we may expose ourselves to, neutralize them, and get them out of the body, it provides a huge helping hand to your digestive system and your immune system. It helps bring down some of that toxic load. And when it brings down some of that toxic load, it gives your gut the ability to help itself, to turn over cells, to repair certain damages that have been going on in the gut for a long period of time. And reducing that toxic load can be really supportive to your digestive and your immune system. Now this is all found in a product called Cleanse. And I know the word cleanse makes you think of detoxes, right? Which is, which is a kind of detox, this particular immunoglobulin nutrient. However, it's really different from the typical detox that you think about that might use things like clay or diatomaceous earth or binders. Those things kind of non-specifically enter the system, grab onto virtually everything as it's p passing through. Think of like a mudslide through your digestive tract. It grabs good stuff and bad stuff and takes everything out. Now, it could be necessary from time to time, but for the most part, if you're using those kinds of cleanses, they're basically going to be stripping beneficial things from that lining of your gut as well. The use of the immunoglobulins is like using these highly specific drones that go in there specifically seeking out things that create toxic load. So it's a huge advantage to be able to use these immunoglobulins to support a much healthier digestive system. Now, the immunoglobulins in, in cleanse can be used, uh, we recommend it in a higher dose in the beginning. So you would start off with as many as six to eight capsules a day. You would split that into two doses. I myself take four capsules in the morning on an empty stomach and then four capsules in the evening uh, after eating before I go to bed because a lot of cleanup and repair occurs overnight in the digestive tract. So I want to lend my digestive system that helping hand. And then, you, and then you can go to a maintenance level. You can, st you can stick with four caps a day if your gut is doing great and you can take it on an empty stomach in the morning or the evening. Uh, but I would recommend most people start with that higher dose of you know four in the morning, four in the evening is absolutely ideal. Now you can pair that with things like the ultimate probiotic, which is already supporting your microbiome, helping the good bacteria flourish within your gut, working on that leaky gut, um, you know, supporting the immune system within the di digestive tract. And you can add in the supportive immunoglobulin through cleanse, which really pairs amazingly well with the ultimate probiotic. Other things you can do which should be important to your gut is you can add in a little bit of intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting can be really beneficial to your digestive tract for that repair mechanism within your gut. You can try to increase the diversity in your diet a little bit. You can add in a little bit more plant foods, a little bit more fiber. Um, you can add in some roots and tubers to get some resistant starches which can be really beneficial to the really important strains in your large bowel. You can also add in some polyphenols. Polyphenols from colored fruits and vegetables are really important prebiotic-like compounds for very protective strains within your digestive system. So all of those things can be done together to really create this helping hand for your gut to be able to support a much healthier function. Cleanse acts as a really important tool in that. There's great clinical trials on immunoglobulins and showing all kinds of supportive effects within the digestive tract. And I think if you add that to your routine, you'll start to see a different response as you're trying to improve your digestive health. Thank you.